So today I will be discussing how Christian leaders um, played a role in the civil rights movement. Um, so the civil rights movement began in the late 1940s and continued all the way through the late 1950s. So this was about 20 years of um, protest and um, kind of a um, rebellion against the social norms that um, said that whites were um, better or more um, human than a black person. So the civil rights movement was more of a political movement, but it did involve many Christian leaders and um, it had a lot of religious influences in it. So during this time, the um, black churches were the best way to start a um, movement for racial justice. So um, blacks actually didn't have many outlets to um, um, express themselves during this time, so the black churches really were this vessel for them to create a um, political movement and fight for what they believed in. Though the civil rights movement was political um, in nature, there were so many Christian leaders that um, played a huge role in it, and some actually have said that the movement wouldn't have started or succeeded without the spiritual empowerment of the black church. So the first religious um, leader I'm going to talk about today is um, Martin Luther King Jr. He was a um, pastor at the Dexter Avenue King Memorial Baptist Church and he was a devout Christian. He believed that um, God um, wanted everyone to have free will and freedom and that played into um, his belief that um, black people should also experience the same freedom and um, this really drove his political stance about the civil rights movement. King used um, nonviolent protests, but even so, he did actually end up being arrested. Um, and one of his most famous writings was um, Letters from Burning Birmingham Jail. And in the article, What Role Did Christian Teachings Play in the American Civil Rights Movement? It says that he wrote about his Christian duty um, in that letter. And he said that his role was to carry the gospel of freedom across America. So he really believed that he, it was his job to um, enforce Christian ethics into the culture of America at that time period. Although churches during this time period of the civil rights movement were more conservative, a lot of the leaders of the movement were more progressive. So um, it means that they were open to change, open to um, the culture changing, and they thought that God actually um, was like the author of the that type of change. So they really believed that God was um, aiding them and on their side and helping them fight this injustice. The next civil rights leader that I'm going to talk about is Rosa Parks. So Rosa Parks was um, also a civil rights act activist. She um, really changed a lot for the civil rights movement. Um, and the biggest thing that she's known for is um, not giving up her seat on the bus um, in Montgomery. So. Um, at that time, the law said that whites were to have first priority and they had a special section for themselves um, and that black people needed to have their seat given up if a white person was to come onto the bus. So that day on the bus, a white male came and asked to give her seat up and she refused to and so the bus had to pull over and they had to, um, get the police involved and the police asked her to give up her seat which she refused and they therefore placed her in custody um, and she even speaks about this in her autobiography and her quote is that people always say that I didn't give up my seat because I was tired um, but that isn't true I was not tired physically no the only tired I was was tired of giving it and I really think that speaks volumes to um, just the length of injustice that she felt like she endured and the, the length of injustice for the black people in that community and all, all across the world for um, so many years. So Rosa Parks was also a very devout Christian and she once stated that in the end, God used a simple bus ride to accomplish more than we could have ever dreamed. And so she is saying that that bus ride, um, although it was simple and um, 
the act that she she did, the refusal of giving up her seat, had changed culture, and it changed how Americans view black people for the for a very long time afterwards. So, um, what she did, her and Martin Luther King, really um, changed the viewpoint and changed American culture as they as they knew it. So, in conclusion, both Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks really just changed the life um, of Americans all across the world. They changed culture, they changed um, just the beliefs that people have and how people see each other for the better, and they really impacted the world um, for the best. These Christian values that these leaders hold are so important to how culture changes and evolves through political and social issues and the activism that is occurring. So I think that religion plays a huge role in how culture changes and how people um, are viewing what needs to happen in the world around us for um, in terms of changing, changing our viewpoints and changing how um, we perceive others. So I believe that Christian values are extremely important to have in these times of social activism and social justice changes. Although this is still an issue today, um, um, Christian leaders and black leaders um, all across the world are still fighting for black lives. Um, the civil rights movement is still continuing through Black Lives Matter and um, all of the protesting and um, people who are speaking up about injustices that are still going on in the world. So um, the influences of Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King are still being remembered and valued through the protests that are happening today and the activism that needs to be happening in the world right now.